school may be out for summer, but some lawmakers in Washington are still demanding answers on how chaos like this was allowed to play out on campuses across the country this semester. This was the University of California, Los Angeles earlier this month when dueling protests between pro-Palestine and pro-Israel students turned violent. We tried very hard to find an off-ramp for student protesters so they could leave the encampment. Wasn't to be. Safety became an issue for the whole community. UCLA's chancellor is the latest college leader to be grilled by lawmakers, along with the heads of Northwestern and Rutgers, schools that ultimately made concessions to pro-Palestine protesters. Jewish and Israeli consult students were not consulted. Jewish and Israeli students were not consulted exactly. with respect to Yield the back. agreement. Exactly. And it would have been back. impractical to do that. It's the fourth congressional hearing on college anti-Semitism, and they're known to get heated. Testimony from Columbia's president in April inflamed campus protests, while other hearings ultimately led to the presidents of Harvard and Penn resigning. Those who are in charge of universities who negotiate with pro-terror protesters are not doing their jobs. Republicans are mostly driving this effort, while some Democrats say it's just adding fuel to the fire. Complaining about a problem is not a solution. Certainly, it certainly riles people up, generates a lot of media coverage, but it didn't solve anything. On Wednesday, UCLA reassigned its police chief as the school begins investigating its response to the campus protests. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.